Hey, welcome to another episode of Off the Clock. I'm your host, Josai St. John. We're here with Jerome Baker. Jerome is an influential soccer player who competed all over Canada, United States, and Asia. He was also a member of the youth national program, and he's a youth soccer coach here for Tri Football. How are you guys doing? Thanks for having me, Josiah. Really appreciate you coming out. So, um, like I said, Tri Football off the ground. Love seeing what you're doing in our community, um, impacting the youth, the kids. And during this time of COVID, how have you been able to, to cope and, and kind of pivot like we all had to during this tough time? Well, during these times, first and foremost, hope everyone's staying home, staying safe. Um, during these times, it's been difficult for all of us. Uh, I think it was a time where we all had to get creative and to tune into things that are going to be in the future, I think, which is virtually. You know? So I've been kind of running a virtual program that has been pretty successful. The kids have been able to stay fit, stay in tune, and continue to develop during this time. Secondly, as you've known, during the first lockdown, I've had the honor of bringing you out. And it's something that I plan on doing is bringing out resources where it's a community of each one teach one. You know, mm -hmm. these are opportunities that we never got when we were kids as much. So the stuff that we can continue to bring back and give back to the kids as much as we can. It's our vision, right? 100%. I always tell everybody all the time is, imagine this happened 10 years ago when we didn't have all this technology, what we have, what we have done. Right. Yeah, but I'm glad that during this time you can pivot, do online stuff. And even this interview we're having right now, virtual, right? So. As times get different, we got to change and adapt. So I'm really happy about that. Exactly. I mentioned a bunch of things that you've done. You travel all across the world. You play professionally. What is your biggest accomplishment in sports? I think my biggest accomplishment in sports, ironically, has nothing to do with when I was playing. Mm -hmm. I think my biggest accomplishment in sports right now, I think, is actually being able to try to start something that hasn't really been done here in this country, Canada, with soccer being a little bit behind uh, in comparison to the rest of the world, I find that we have to start with kids on the grassroots. And to be able to start something and finally get a buzz behind it and to see the kids going in a direction which is the positive direction and learning the right fundamentals of being a good player on the field, mm -hmm. but also a, a, a great person off the field, mm -hmm. I think it's very important. So the fact that we're able and myself and the staff that I have with me and all the people who are together in doing this have the chance to do this, I think that would be my greatest accomplishment in the sports. Um, I think every day professionals wake up, they can make a dollar, make millions of dollars, but at the end of the day, we're all not here forever. And I'm mm -hmm. a believer in Christ. And I believe that the more that we can give back mm -hmm. is the more that our blessings will flow. So I kind of believe more and continue to give back and continue doing that. Yeah, that's awesome. I know we've had plenty of conversations about this, about our generation coming back together and, and developing another generation of young athletes with us being the forefront of developing and training them. So I'm glad to see that you're in the main position doing that for soccer, for tri football. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Appreciate that. As a young person, uh, what things do you like to do in Durham? What places you like to go? Experiences you have? Well, as a young, as a young kid at 15 in Durham, at that point, I was really destined to try to make my dream happen, make it possible. So the dedication that I had as a kid was just soccer in school, but I didn't really have much options. My vision was, unfortunately for me, I, school wasn't an option, you know? So I, I was destined to try to make it pro, which meant I had to put countless hours in. Mm. So that's pretty much what my, my, my time around Durham was dedicated towards was just pretty much training and going to school because I was only there for about two years and then I was off to Whitecaps to start my career. So mm -hmm. the time that I had in Durham was very, very, very good. I met some magnificent, magnificent people in my time there. Shout out to you. Shout out to Zakia. Shout out to Christine. Shout out to all the Pickering High guys who made it through and continue to do their big things. Mm -hmm. As a young person, did you have any um, coaches or mentors that helped push you to success? Uh, yeah, I've, I've had a lot of people help me and support me along my way. Um, I've had a, he's a very good coach right now, Rick Titus. He actually gave me some very good advice that I carry on to this day, which is always be the best that you can be, no matter what's around you, whether no matter the boundaries. So whether that be you're going in, you're playing in the English Premier League, or whether you're going down and you're playing in the men's league, always be the best that you can be. And that's a lesson I took out with me towards life. It doesn't matter the situation, I want to be the best. Um, I've had another couple of good coaches, obviously Duke Swaby, that has had a lot of a big impact on my life personally. You know, uh, Stephen Hughes, there's been a couple of coaches, Joe Perilini. Um, I, there's, I've had many coaches, I don't want to forget any names, but I feel like every single trainer, every single coach, every single player that I has mm -hmm. come across, interacted, has had some type of impact 
or some type of effect on my life at some point in time or some type of way. Mm. Last question I have for you is what advice do you have for somebody um, like you or somebody who's an athlete in your position? Um, what advice would you give to them? Um, my biggest advice, honestly, is just be true to yourself and believe in yourself. You know, there's going to be a lot of doubters. There's going to be a lot of haters. There's going to be a lot of naysayers. There's going to be a lot of people that support you. But at the end of the day, I think what's the most important thing that is bigger than the game is the confidence and the belief that you have in yourself to believe in yourself that when it comes to either scoring that goal, you're going to score in that goal or whether you're going to make that shot, you're going to make that shot or whether you're going to go into a test and say, I'm at 100%. Mm. Just believing in yourself and putting in the work daily to continue to, to, to get to where you want to go because it's never just, I'm going to wake up today and be pro tomorrow. It's all those daily compound the steps that you take. So I think it's just about just being disciplined and being the best you that you can be every day to make sure you strive to reach your goals.